Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> Can you do it, please? Yeah, okay, are we ready? Thank you very much. Yeah, we've uh, just appeared uh, before court on the matter of unroof assembly when people came to apologize to me at my house. That aside, I just want to say that uh, I'm a politics member of Yawam and looking after the poor people has become very interesting under the new Dawn government. As much as I appreciate the increase of the purchase of maize, floor price, floor price for maize by the FRA from 180 kwacha per 50 kg back to 280 kwacha. Very good because the price of uh, fertilizer is very high. The price of seed is very high. The cost of um, inputs and general production is very high. Very, very good idea. So that the, our farmers can now get value for their money. But for me, it is a very wrong way of doing things. What we should have done was to reduce the cost of fertilizer, reduce the cost of seed, reduce the cost of production, so that the farmers can maximize on the price at 180. Quote me correctly there. I'm not saying they should have not increased the price. Under the circumstances that the fertilizer is at over 1,000, seed is expensive, and the fuel for farmers to chew the land, electricity is expensive, that is an ideal situation. Now the danger is that the price of millimil is going to be unaffordable for the poor people. If today the cost of maize is 180 kwacha per 50 kg bag, millimil is costing at 250. When you increase the cost of maize from 180 to 280, the price of millimil is likely to move to 350 kwacha per 25 kg bag of millimil, which person can afford. Even the salaries that teachers get, policemen, miners, they will not be able to afford the cost of millimeter. If you are because when you are making these decisions, you have to be thorough. You have to interrogate them. The most important thing in governance is to look at the poor people. How are the poor people going to survive? So, in my view, the most ideal situation would have been to fight that the production of fertilizer is cheaper. The cost of seed is cheaper. We reduce on the cost of fuel for production. We reduce on electricity. So that for argument's sake, if the price of fertilizer dropped from 1,000 to about 400, and you still maintain the price of, of uh, maize at 180, the farmers will still have value for their money. But this, we are waiting to see what the economist president is going to do. 
because politics of appeasement should come to an end. We should look at the total holistic cost of production against the selling price. But what has happened is very, very interesting. And we shall see how they are. And I was, you know, Ramuavan Pinchishi, Nabalanda, before the Balatonton, and the Balatonton, and after Balanda. The chairman of the FRA was saying that we require much to increase the price of millimeter because we are still giving you maize at 180. But the millers are going to start buying the maize at about 280. How do you expect them to continue giving you at the old price? That is why I've said, and I want to say it again, leave politics to us politicians. If you're a businessman, go and do business and make profits. Put a catch out of them profits. It's to balance. The farmers must make money. The poor people must survive. That is governance. So we are yet to see what is going to, uh, to happen going forward on this new price of maize. But for the farmers, congratulations. At least you get a return from the 280. But I pity the poor people who are not going to afford. And it's not, not only millimi, eh? Don't uh, put, don't take it only to millimi. Even the chickens are going to be expensive. Mind you, chicken feet, animal feed for the cows is also manufactured from maize. Meaning in Amayala Nino Mutengo, in Koko Shala Nino Mutengo, by economists. I hope it will be press conference, Mulande Poshkuru. Kaidina Imuna Mutemo Kabala, Mwaka Mwendo Munjila, Yon Sekano Namuya, Les Ampa. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.